What's up guys, Juice Mercy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got a squad on a player which recently, I think last week in fact, on head to head, got five star skill moves. Now, if this translates to FIFA Ultimate Team, it makes him one of the best like cheap strikers on the game. And like I mentioned, we've got a bit of a rainbow team around him, a few different card types here and there in a very good squad, guys. So before we get started, as always, if you show support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. Who's your favorite five star skiller on any FIFA ever? Let me know down below. And finally, if you missed my previous video, it'll be down below in the description box. So today, we're using a 4 3 2 1. Usually, I go with a 4 1 2 1 2 or a 4 3 2 1 from the start and change that in game, but this time, I kept it a 4 3 2 on the right forward, left forward, and I see how it went. And starting off with the defense and the goalkeeper. In goal, got a foot champions version of Inform Wojciech Szczesny from Romery. 6 foot 5, 86 diving, 88 reflexes, 83 handling, 84 positioning, and 79 kicking. Played 14 games in total with him now. And I'm not going to lie, very impressed. Very like solid goalkeeper. And I actually prefer him over Gianluigi Buffon. Although one player does rival him very well. Um, or two, in fact, we've got Handanovic as well as the uh, the second informed Donnarumma, who's very good, and I believe it pretty much the same price. Now we've gone to right back, it's another informed player, and that is the second informed at Nelson Semedo from Benfica. He's 84 rated now, and if we get to Tots, that card, my days, would be quite cheap, and like 99 pace, and crazy good stats across the board uh, everywhere else. So 18,000 coins, five games played at 94 pace, 86 dribbling, 80 defending and physical, and 8 on passing. And the chem style I've got on him uh, does obviously boost his defending and physical by three arrows, whatever that shape is called. High, medium work, grace, like I probably mentioned before, and a good right back. Now we've gone to the first centre back, and it's actually obviously a, a duo between Chiellini and a Barzagli. You can use the likes of Inform Regani, or on top of that, uh, potentially an Inform Benucci. And even if you want to, you can try out the new Inform Benatia by putting him right centre back and putting Gianluigi Buffon in goal and having like a Juventus trio rather than a double with any goalkeeper. He's got low high work rates, he's 6 foot 2, 74 pace. 89 defending and 84 physical. He costed 26 k but he's probably a lot cheaper than that right now, and he's 87 rated. His partner is a pretty much a copy and paste version, and that is Giorgio Chiellini. His stats are very similar, uh, same height, same work rate. The only difference, he's left footed. And if I was to compare the two, like in regards to one I prefer the most, I'd probably say Chiellini. Um, not quite sure why, but in game, just feels a little bit better. Then we've gone to the final defender, and that is a new form from this week, and that is the in form of Klasnach from Schalke, he's 81 rated, 82 pace, 70 dribbling and passing, 82 defending and 89 physical, 6 foot tall and medium high work rate. Costing 37,500 coins, but I imagine by the time I play this video, probably like 25k, because I'm recording this at 4 p.m. or see foot champions rewards, they're not out. And out of the gold cards this week, I believe it's actually the joint lowest, so probably pack quite a bit. Now we've got on to the midfield trio, and we're going to start off the right centre mid, a player I've not used so far in FIFA 17, that is Pizzi Pizzi, I'm not sure how you say his name, he cost you 27,750 coins, 5 games, 1 goal, 2 assists from centre midfield, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 83 pace and passing, 80 shot, 85 dribbling, 60 defending and 71 physical. I really hope he gets a tots again, just like Semedo. I'm not sure if he will or not, as I don't personally watch the Portuguese league, but if he does get one, a very good card right there, and again, probably quite cheap. Then we go on to central midfield, and that is going to be the ones to watch Renato Sanchez. 40 games played, zero goals, five assists. I mention it every single time I feature him in the squad, but basically, in my weekend league and such, he's used as a super sub, and he never really starts many games. At the 40, he's played probably about uh, 10, or actually starts the other 30, are off the bench, but a fantastic little card for a 78 rated player. And the final midfielder is a man match from last week, maybe he may even still be in pack shot now, but there's an 82 rated Leon Goretzka from Schalke. 34,250 coins he cost me, five games of one goal, two assists, four star week for three star skill moves like last year. He did have four star skills, but unfortunately taken that away from him. 83 pace, 81 dribbling, 80 passing, 75 shot, 77 defending, and 78 physical. You can have a really good like, trio of midfielders now from Germany. Um, him, Emery Chan, and someone like Gundogan would absolutely kill it, in my opinion, in weekend league. And for 34k, you can't really complain. And imagine after 6 p.m., just like Klasnach, his price will drop a load because of foot champions rewards. And I'm pretty sure that duo right there of them two will be used quite a bit potentially over weekend league. Now we've got to the front three. First up, left forward, not going to talk about it too much because personally, I'm not really a massive fan of him. And that is Marco Royce. 32 games, 10 goals, 13 assists. Um, but to be fair to him, to come a little bit of slack, he has played centre midfield for me quite a bit um, because basically a change to a 4 1 2 1 2 and here's the player I had to sacrifice. But he's got 90 pace, 86 dribbling, 85 shot, and 84 passing. The right forward is a player 
First time using them again this year, and that is the inform Ricardo Caresma from Besiktas. 44,000 coins, five games, four goals, three assists. Nice return right there for a right forward. Four star weak foot, five star skill moves, 86 pace, 921 dribbling, 80 shot, and 87 passing. And off the top of my head, I can't think of a better Portuguese right forward than Caresma. I know Bernardo Silva has got a lot of cards out there as actually a high rating, but in game, it doesn't really cut it compared to Caresma. Now we've gone to the striker, the player that has received a five star skill upgrade right now on head to head. And that player, if we add into the score right now, is going to be on the second page, hopefully. And the card is going to be an orange man of the match one, orange and blue, shall I say. And that is a Bubakar, 84 rated right there. And he cost me just 25,000 coins. Currently, he's got a three star week for four star skill moves, five games, eight goals, three assists. So, again, nice return for a striker. 86 pace, 84 dribbling, 83 shot, 80 passing, and 86 physical. So, I have quickly moved over to head to head. We want to show you it's got five star skill moves just to prove it right there. Uh, three star week for five star skill moves, and hopefully, at some point, he does get it on FIFA Ultimate Team, just like Dembele from Borussia Dortmund. But now, let's jump into the gameplay where I'll talk more about Abubakar uh, in particular, and obviously the rest of the team, and show you how well it played. So, to start things off, the very first team we came against had Pogba, uh, Kante, Modric, and the 95 rated Neymar. So, a very stacked team, also, I guess. So, he may have been playing to his full potential, but either way, a very hard team to come in straight off the back. And I think we won 3 0 in the very first game. But let's talk about Bubakar and why he's actually really good in this game anyway. And so, right now, doesn't have five star skill moves. And do I think he'll get it? Possibly, maybe, maybe not. We have no idea right now whether we're going to get skill upgrades because Dembele, he's had five star skill moves in head to head since like November, I think it is, and still has four star skills on a foot, unfortunately. But hopefully, we can keep our fingers crossed, we'll get it very, very soon. And Abubakar in real life, apparently, he's had two red cards. In the last four days. And that's something really strange to see in real life. And um, by the way, Abubakar on FIFA Ultimate Team, he's 25k, this 84 rated card. And that's really good value for money. That's, he has tremendous stats across the board for a striker. He's extremely well rounded, has good passing, good dribbling, great pace. I think it's 86, as well as 86 physical. Again, 25k. I know um, the Turkish League isn't the strongest, but Ricardo Karezma, he's still a top tier player, in my opinion, um, being like 85 rated, five star skill moves, and all that good stuff. Then we got to a short power. I felt very good in game. I think it's like, like, is it 88 or something? I'm not too sure off the top of my head. But it's not really that high compared to other strikers I've used. But his shot power definitely seemed to be very good, especially the low driven shot. His strength and potential five star skill moves combined. 89 strength in game. You combine that with five star skill moves. Back in day fever 14, that's like what uh, Team the Ebra or someone had, like a normal Ebra potentially, when he had five star skill. And finally, he's actually a 90 rated striker in game with a marksman chemistry style. And right there is a fantastic little like, half volley into the bottom corner. But now we're going to move on to the rest of the team. The midfield, it contributed really well. Goretzka, Arato Sanchez, as well as Pizzi, they worked like really well as a trio. Compared to what I thought I'd have, um, only the one tall player in there. Some people like having three very tall centre midfielders, I understand that. Um, but Renato Sanchez, he's like Kanter in this game, he's absolutely everywhere and is very, very strong. And at Pizzi, he's really good on the ball. Obviously, you can tell that. Very good dribbling, good pace, and some okay shooting as well as passing. Klasnach and Goretzka, it's I think the whole thing will be used a fair amount because they're both very good players. And I actually had basic chem style on, on Klasnach, but I think the best way to go for him is definitely put a shadow on him. Charisma is really good in game. Royce, not so much, unfortunately, but I explained why I'm um, not really a massive fan of him in the first part of the video. I did keep a 4 3 2 1 just like the squad started with um, from the very, very get go, guys. So that is going to be the end of the video. So, as always, if you enjoyed it, show support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. Who's your favorite five star skill ever? Let them down below. And finally, if you missed my previous video, it was down below in the description box. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.